A fascinating video has recently gone up on YouTube with a discussion between Jordan Peterson and Alex O'Connor. It's left, though, a lot of people scratching their heads, trying to understand what maybe one of them was saying or what the other was saying. Even Alex O'Connor has put up some clips with significant question marks in the title. And I, I think it's because each of them have significantly different visions of the cosmos, though with some interesting overlaps. And I just want to suggest that classical Christianity is a sort of midway between the two, affirming quite a bit maybe what Alex O'Connor is affirming about matter and history, and affirming quite a bit of what Jordan Peterson is affirming about symbolism and meaning and morality. There are three stages within the video that are particularly interesting and there I'll put the links below with the timestamps. They're all pretty short. The first one that I would highlight is where Alex O'Connor is asking this important question about historical happenings. Did things really happen? And he takes as an example the exodus. Did, if, if we went back in time would we really see people going through the Red Sea? And Jordan Peterson doesn't give a clear answer because what he's sort of saying is it doesn't really matter. What's much more important is its meaning. And Alex sort of comes back and says, well, you know, maybe the meaning is important, but it, it, there, there's a very specific question in saying, did it really happen? And then Jordan Peterson says, Christians who ask that question are using, he says, a metaphysics that is not Christian metaphysics. There's quite a strong claim there that Christians who think that it's quite important, for instance, of course, as we're going to come to in a moment, the resurrection. Surely St. Paul and the Christian tradition has said it's really important that, that Jesus, uh, who was breathing, who stopped breathing and came back to life and breathed again, that that actual physicality is very important. And Jordan Peterson says, well, it's not that important. In the uh, second stage, uh, Alex O'Connor was able to come back a little bit later and get in to say, if I put a camcorder outside Joseph Ar Arimathea's tomb, would I see someone walk out? <laughs> and Jordan is forced to say, uh, with giving a bit of a headline, yeah, I, 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 I think it probably would capture someone walking out. But again, he, his line, he gets back to it fairly quickly, is that don't forget all history is interwoven with mythology, etc. And it doesn't really matter that much whether he did. And then in the third section, Alex O'Connor makes a great move, I think, where he just comes back and says, well, do you realize by saying it doesn't really matter that much, you, at a certain time in history, might have been accused of Gnosticism, who were people who absolutely said it's the spiritual meaning of the resurrection that matters. Some Christians would say that today, and that the physicality indeed doesn't matter and, and and therefore Jordan would be accused of of heresy and he says he sort of seems to accept that and there's oh but it but it's very important that the the Christians mention the body is good and 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 things like that but Alex O'Connor ha, ha, has shown that in his claiming that Christian metaphysics would actually say it doesn't really matter that much uh, is therefore a heretical metaphysics or leading to heretical conclusions I think Jordan Peterson has, has uh, applied the term Christian to the metaphysics that he's pushing uh, following discussions with Bishop Barron, and I've, I've done a video on that and, and how that really they were on significantly different pages in that discussion without realizing it. And whilst there were some commonalities uh, about how the realm of existence, as it's technically called, or the act of existence for scholastics, or the existential for the Heide followers of Heidegger and other existentialists uh, is, is somehow beyond the categorical, mathematical, formal essence and, and therefore maybe in a sense more important. There's a certain overlap between Barron and Peterson and he seems to be running with that. That comes to uh, my just my metaphysical point, I suppose, that, that the visions of Alex O'Connor and Jordan Peterson 
are similar in one sense in that, that they seem to I think think that the physical realm and the psychological realm overlap profoundly and indeed are probably a continuum I would say they're probably meta both metaphysical monists but what that type of reality is for Alex seems to focus primarily I think upon the material and the physical and for Peterson upon the symbolic and the personal moral meaning so when they use the word real, when Alex says, did it really happen? He means historically, physically, measurably. And when uh, Jordan Peterson talks about what is really true and important, he's talking about the symbolic. They, they, they don't deny the, uh, the reality of the other side of that coin, but the way in which they prioritize it in terms of reality uh, is is very different so it would seem probably for Alex coming out of probably an, an empiricist tradition that he might he'd be open to thinking that the psychology is reducible to the biology and chemical etc where as uh, for Peterson that side is the most abstract and if, if anything the reducibility goes the other way and it, it's rooted in the personal and the symbolic I did in my other video talk about his use of James Gibson's affordances which is an, an interesting philosophy which captures how the meaning for someone particularly enabling someone to act and to engage and have a relationship is what something is more than its mathematical or formal definition. So what I want to say is that Christianity I think is between these two visions I would suggest in that it affirms along with Jordan Peterson the importance of the moral and indeed the primary importance of what we would call the the, the spiritual uh, knowing and loving friendship but with Alex O'Connor we would also affirm the fundamental integrity and reality and objectivity of the material realm the object of the human senses and the way in which we hold these two together is to acknowledge they are what our tradition, the Catholic tradition, is called different orders of being. The material is deterministic, not free. It has an order and a meaning which is indeed symbolic for the human body and indeed anybody that's aware at the level of survival and fitting into an ecological niche and then for the human person who has this other dimension the dimension of mind the free ability to grasp this the physical dynamic and level becomes options for moral action to develop upon the order of the physical world developing upon the, the very patterns which have been written there by the creator. So neither the physical pole emphasized as the really real by Alex nor the spiritual moral subjective creative pole emphasized by Jordan Peterson is reducible to the other. Yes, I think we're on Peterson's side that the spiritual realm of knowing and loving is, is of ultimate importance. But the body is part of who we are. It's part of reality. And indeed, it's the means by which God in nature invites us to be good and to follow him in an analogous way human artifacts made by other people and indeed language similarly invite us to engage in communion with them through the physical we need this distinction of the free spiritual and the deterministic matter to make sense of our world as revealed by nature in modern science and indeed as revealed personally by God in Jesus Christ. So in summary, Peterson's existentialism says that all reality is intrinsically a symbolic expression across degrees of moral importance for the human observer. 
historical measurable reality is the most abstract and so least important for him. Alex O'Connor makes a big distinction between the material historical which is fundamental and the psychological which is really reducible to the material. When he says did it really happen he refers to the former. Christianity is between the two. Moral meaning in the non-physical spiritual soul is of most importance but physical dynamics and patterns and natural history which is symbolic but only at the instinctual and deterministic level is the crucial ground of God's invitation to act well and freely. So the physical resurrection as emphasized by St. Paul and classical Christianity is of fundamental importance to mediating and communicating the work and grace of God's divinization and victory over sin and death. Thank you.